Hey guys, this is Tim Reeve here with Chris Reeve Knives. We're going to do a quick how to clean your Nkosi video. I've got a large, plain Nkosi with the Nsingo blade shape. First, we'll start with taking the large, uh, or the male pivot out. And should, requ should require just one, but sometimes you'll have to use the second uh, eighth inch wrench on the back side. Nothing crazy. Depends on how much Loctite is in there. From there, you should be able to slip out the female pivot. So you have your female and male large pivot, and you've got your blade there. At this point, we'll take the body screws off and take the front face out. So use your 564 inch Allen key. Make sure to seat it nice and properly so you don't go strip the screw out. body screw one. At this point we'll take the front face off. Now that stop pin is a slip through stop pin so you don't have to worry about anything. It's actually nice to keep this uh, together for now and these are extremely tight tolerances so just be patient and wiggle it back and forth until you get that front face off and voila you've got that. Pull both your washers out. Give them a good clean down. I like to have a uh, a junk piece of paper towel to clean parts with so you don't get your nice microfiber cloth all gooped up. And there you have it. We'll clean the blade, we'll clean all the tang of the blade, clean out the pivot, and make sure to clean the, the stop pin surface and the uh, lock surface, the lock face. And then you want to clean all these areas, the reciprocal areas on the handles, just to make sure. And you can go further and take and undo the stop pin if you'd like, uh, undo the lanyard backspacer and lanyard pin. Um, I'm not going to do that, but uh, for a full, full clean you can do that. Or replacing the, the lanyard you can do that as well now would be the time. Make sure to clean the lock face and the inside here which would be the detent face and if you'd like to take off your your clip go for it this is when you can adjust the tension uh, some guys like it a little bit stiffer some guys like it a little bit looser or if you end up snagging it and bending it um, it's nice and thin you can can go back and bend it into shape we do sell replacement clips so at this point we'll we'll put it back together like a sandwich so we'll start with the back face and the uh, female pivot screw. We'll put down the one of our our washers. Now, what's cool about these washers is, is they're twin, so that that means they're both the same. And uh, this little saddle will stop right up into uh, the stop pin. We'll get our lube. Now, if the lube is separates a little bit, you might have to massage the tube. It'll be kind of clear and white. Um, nothing crazy there and just put in a bit of lube. Less is more, that should work. We'll put our blade in. Boom, and it should even just lock up like that. We can set that there for now. We'll add um, a bit more lube on this side and add our second washer. And then now it's where we put the front face on. And you'll just set it in like this. Sometimes you do have to just break this guy. And it should sit down nicely. There you go, everything's seated. Check to make sure that there's no extraneous gaps in there. Everything seats down nice and properly. And you're ready to roll. We'll put our back uh, body screw in here. And then at this point, we'll add a little bit of Loctite to the pivot. Now the whole theory behind this is that it just helps it from backing out and just the tiniest bit of Loctite does. It just keeps the pivot from backing out so you can get that nice balance between a smooth action and zero side-to-side -side play. So I usually go 
little bit more on the tight side there and we'll check and see how it feels we'll check our action here and uh, work it just a little bit to get the lube moved around a bit and uh, I might even just back that baby out just ever so slightly and uh, you can put your finger on the lock arm thumb on the pivot disengage the lock grab the tip of the of the blade and wiggle it back and forth this way to check your side to side play and that feels pretty dang good nice and solid and we've even got a nice smooth consistent action the knife is not designed to have a, a drop free action but it should be extremely consistent and smooth all the way through the opening and um, that's the gist of it that that'll get you taken apart cleaned and put back together in no time and um, thanks for watching